might actually resign. I mean, he really and truly might actually have to resign. There may not be a choice as I look at what's going on right now. A new report suggesting that uh, there's trouble ahead. There's trouble, so much trouble ahead that as we get ready for the whole DNC thing to go, to, you know, do what it's doing this week, there's a U-Haul truck outside the White House. What do you think of that, guys? I mean, is, is the president finally going to get the boot? That's the question that they're asking here. This is Trump war room on Twitter. New U-Haul moving trucks are parked outside the White House today, hours before Biden's planned farewell address to the DNC. Are they finally giving Biden the permanent boot? It's a question in light, in light of what we've just learned, in light of this report just coming out. The Republicans saying $27 million went to the Biden family in a kind of foreign influence scheme, and that Joe Biden knew about it all along. I'll tell you, Joe's not too happy. He is one unhappy fellow right now because this was supposed to be his big night, right? His big, big, big week. He was supposed to be the focus, the center of attention, and what do you know? This lady, this little upstart came in, Kamala Harris, and stole all of it away from him. Now, if I were him, I, I would have been leery about her from the start. I mean, after all, consider what she did to him way back when in the 2020 Democrat debate when she went up one side and down the other and accused him of being racist. It was really, really hard to watch. And that was actually the undoing of Kamala Harris at the time because the Democrat Party was like, wait a second, who is this lady? Who is this lady? I ask you that too, because you know she does one thing or says one thing and then we get another. But I actually, I'm going to hold her at her word. And I'm going to assume that she is the communist she keeps presenting herself to be. I'm also going to remember that she's had three and a half years to actually right the ship, right? What about the border? What about inflation? What has happened in those last three and a half years? She was the casting vote, right? In the whole Inflation, inflation Reduction Act. I mean, she, she's actually, which is just so funnily named, Inflation Reduction Act, it actually contributed to mass inflation, like upwards of 30% that we've experienced, and then in certain sectors, it's even worse. So why would we ever give her another shot? I, I don't know. I mean, I certainly wouldn't. I hope people are not so dumb as to actually give Kamala Harris the time of day, or this guy for that matter, but after all, they did elect him. This is the one that had the little fling with Fang Fang, this is the BF of Flang Flang, Fang Fang, how, you know, getting that one mixed up. Eric Swalwell, he's the representative from California, making the rounds on cable news, trying to pitch Kamala as the future, because, you know, the last three and a half years have been so terrific. Well, it's deep gratitude that we're all going to show, because under Joe Biden's leadership, uh, our children will feed their families with jobs he created, uh, they'll drive on roads that he built. They'll power their devices with chips that he manufactured. And also, uh, it's not just the jobs that he created. It's also the job that he left uh, for Kamala Harris, uh, a job that she's going to finish as she takes on uh, inflation uh, with an economy that's going to work for work. Ah, OK. <laughs> How do you like this graphic? This is what Trump tweeted out today. And, and put on true, true social as well. I, I think this is fantastic because here's the reality, guys, okay? Oh, we're so proud of the Harris-Biden record. You got to be kidding me. You're not proud of it. You shouldn't be proud of it because, I mean, if you're proud of this, then we got other problems to talk about. Gasoline up 51%, electricity up 32%, airfare up 23%, groceries up 22%. Oh, my gosh, rent up 22%, eggs up 47%, car insurance up 54%, K-12 through food I guess this is food in schools, up 66%. Guess what? Wages are not even close. So when you look at something they like to talk about in economics called the misery index, you know what? It's really high right now. People feel really miserable, and they feel miserable because this is the inflation they're confronting, but they're not making more money. It's really messed up. And this is on them. So why on earth would we give this woman another shot, given what she did? I mean, I do think that this is where Donald Trump has all the strength. This is why some polls, like the Rasmussen one and even the Fox News one, are showing him ahead. 
I realize these pollsters can kind of ask whatever they want and they massage the polls to help Kamala because that is the world in which we live and that is where the media is right now. They want to help, 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 help Kamala Harris because they want to make sure that she gets elected. Don't forget, there's a lot of media money at stake. There's a lot at stake uh, in, in terms of certain people and certain influence. And they're worried if he gets in there that he's going to, wow, you know what? Call him out. I would say this. Journalists did not go to jail under Donald Trump. They were not intimidated at their homes by the IRS under Donald Trump. They were not spied upon by Donald Trump. Granted, I mean, he might call him out <laughs> to their face. That has happened. Sure, that happened under Donald Trump. But there was no one behind the scenes actually spying on them in their email. And by the way, that happened under both Barack Obama and Joe Biden. I mean, I know two reporters that I have worked with, Cheryl Atkinson, James Rosen, Cheryl at CBS, James at Fox, and both of them had their computers basically broken into by the likes of the Obama administration. And then along comes Joe Biden. And again, journalists were under fire. You had Matt Taibbi, who used to be pretty liberal, but I guess maybe, you know, he's, he's, he's come to his senses, shall we say. He's right for Rolling Stone. Now he's over on Substack. And Matt had the IRS showing up on his doorstep. Why? Because he had access to the so-called Twittergate files, which proved just exactly what Deep State was doing there with Twitter. And so... One can only assume it was some kind of intimidation tactic that the IRS showed up on his doorstep on the very day, on the very day that Matt was set to testify before Congress. And so when they say, oh my gosh, it's going to be so much better under the likes of Kamala Harris, I point you one to what was going on in terms of the economy and what Kamala Harris and Joe Biden have done to our economy. And I point you too to all this business about, oh my gosh, he's going to destroy the world. He's going to destroy our democracy. He's going to destroy this, that, and the other. You're not going to have any freedom of speech. Let me just tell you, you had a heck of a lot more than you do in this moment in time because of the intimidation. Not to mention, I mean, hey, I love it. They keep accusing Donald Trump of fake news, fake news, fake news. You want to know who has the fake headlines? Uh -huh. Kamala Harris actually taking the graphics of news organizations and putting new headlines in, and then buying ads. And in small letters, it says it's sponsored. Listen, the average person wouldn't know that that's an ad. They just wouldn't. You, you kind of have to kind of be in the business, in the know, to actually know that. So the question now becomes, are they really American voters? Are they really going to vote for the woman who brought them so much in the way of challenges? I hope not. And again, I, I would just say that I think that some of the polls that you've seen are clouded by this so-called honeymoon effect, right? That's why you got to be able to, you got to be able to actually sort of cut through the noise, if you would. It's one of the reasons why I started the financial website that I did start, um, 76 Research. I'm just going to put the graphic up here for you. Hopefully you can see it. Oh, we didn't mean for it to cover me, but anyway, if, uh, we, we have a special right now, sort of a back to school special that I wanted to tell you about called, um, well, code, code dollar, D-O-L-L-A-R. And I really, really encourage you because there's so much noise out there as far as the economy goes, as far as markets go, as far as investing goes. So I encourage you to go over to 76 Research, take a look, sign up, sign up for the 76 report. Do, do I'm doing you this favor, right? Like I created it with all of you guys in mind. Plus we've got this code word dollar, D-O-L-L-A-R. So it, all it costs is a dollar. I think it's for the first two months. And then it goes to $9.95 a month. And this is the best $9.95 you'll ever spend. The best dollar you'll ever spend just to try it out. And if nothing else, you get to see the four stocks that we recently picked. We also have model portfolios there. You can get all of the model portfolios plus the 76 report. If you become a member of our Founders Club, I encourage you to check it out today.